Hello, grade 8, and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. For this week, we are going to go to the lab, and I'm going to send an email on Sunday for you to know that on Monday we are going to the lab, and if you forget your lab code, you will not be able to enter the lab, and you will lose marks, and you will not be able to attend the experiment with your friends. So please, do not forget your lab code. For this week, we are going to continue chromosomes and inheritance. We started with that lesson the week before. We talked about the chromosomes, what do they mean, how many numbers do we have, how are they connected to the genes, and uh, how do chromosomes come in pair, and the two types, homozygous and heterozygous. And for this week, we are going to talk about the cell cycle. First, we are going to review the mitosis cell division, which results in two identical daughter cells. The cause of these cells must divide for growth, repair of tissues, and asexual reproduction. And the cell division begins with the interphase, and the chromosomes duplicate in the interphase. After that, we know that the parent cells will duplicate, and then they will separate, and then they will give two new daughters identical to the parent cell. This was the mitosis cell cycle. And then we will talk about the meiosis cell cycle. As we all know that the meiosis starts with the parent cell, and then the chromosomes duplicate, and then they separate, and then they divide twice in meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. These two divisions result in four daughter cells that have half as many chromosomes as a parent cell. As we all know that there are 46 chromosomes, that they come in pairs of 23. So half from the male and half from the female. We write XY for the male and XX for the female. So the meiosis will result in four daughter cells. And then we are going to compare both mitosis and meiosis. So we know that mitosis will result in two daughter cells that are identical to the parent cell genetically. And then the meiosis will result in four daughter nuclei that are not genetically identical to a parent cell. And also for this lesson, we are going to have the criterion C and uh, engagement and fun activity. And then we are going to also assess our knowledge with online quizzes. So I hope that this week will bring you new ideas and knowledge. Thank you so much, 8th grade.